Welcome to the video, and we are doing a tier list for the Wizard of Legend 2 Arcana, the ones that are currently in the game. I'm expecting more in the future. Um, we are doing it all at once. I thought about splitting it into three, but no, we're going to do them all at once. We're going to do basics first, and then I've got all the signatures and then all the standards. Um, the way that I'm going to try and do this is for the basics and the standards, I'm going to judge them based off of not having any modifications on them. Signatures, I'm going to base them off of being charged uh, because I feel like that's kind of the main part for them is having the charged signature. Uh, that's the idea. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion. You're welcome to have your own opinions too on what you like, but uh, this is mine. So let's get into it. Uh, we are going to start with the Aeromancer's Grasp. I'm a fan of this one. I like how it kind of can, it, you can jump forward, right? You can move around the map faster. It's fast. I like, I like my attacks hitting fast. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of this one. Um, I'm not, it's not an S tier one for me as far as basics go. But up against a lot of the other uh, basics in here, I, I think it's quite good. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in, in the B, uh, probably a high B, I think. Maybe it, maybe it could be an A, but I'm putting it in there. Then we have Fireball. I think I've mentioned this in a few of my videos. It's terrible. I just don't like it. I don't like the damage. I don't like the speed it goes at. It's an F tier for me. There's, it just doesn't do it for me. Um, it, it's, it's, it's trash. Uh, then we have the Earth Knuckles. This one hits really hard. A little bit of a slower attack. It does hit hard. It has knockback, right? So it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's not one of my favorites, though. It's, I don't like it more than this. I'm going to put it in B. Certainly not garbage. Um, then we have the Bending Torrent. Probably the coolest looking basic in the game. But we're not basing anything off of how cool stuff looks. <laughs> we're, we're basing it off of how, like, how effective it is um, and how much I actually feel like I can use them. And I don't think it's that good. Um, it's inconsistent. I, I feel like I like it more than Fireball. But it's not not much better than Fireball. Is it an F? I think it probably is, actually. I think it's a, I think it's better than Fireball. But uh, I'm tempted to put it in C. But I, I'm gonna put it in F. I, I think it's it's just it's it's very cool looking. There's Frostblade. I think Frostblade is awesome. I think it could, you could make the argument that it's the best Arcana in the entire game. Uh, so, for me, I like the speed that it goes at, right? It, it, it has kind of a wide hit, so it hits more enemies. Again, we're not basing anything either off of having things modified for these weapons. But it's an S tier for me. It might be the, it might be the S tier weapon for me, uh, or Arcana for me. It is very strong. Love that one. And then we have the Lightning Spinner. Now, I haven't used this one a ton. I think I've used it maybe, you know, one time. And I, I kind of I kinda dig it. I think you can get the damage going really nicely with it. And it does hit for nice AoE. When I'm, and I'm a fan of that. So I'm actually going to rank it in... I'm going to rank it in the A as well. I feel like this should be up. I feel like this needs to be moved up. For me, again, it's just my opinion, right? I'm a big fan of it. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm mo I'm moving this one up, moving it up. These could be interchangeable, I guess. I I don't know which one I prefer over. I I guess maybe that one. Um, then we have the flame strike. Now, for me, flame strike is very similar to the lightning spinner for the AOE damage. Uh, it, it can hit a lot of enemies. You can hit quite fast with it. I actually like it more than the spinner myself. I'm a big fan of the Flame Strike, so it's going there. Yeah, I think I like this. I, th I think I like this uh, better than, I ha than having this down in the Bs. Perforating Jet. Now, it's an interesting one, right? It kind of uh, shoots out a little bit, has some range on it. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bring AoE. It uh, feels like it's more of just like a singular enemy type attack, and I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. Um... I'm going to put it in C. 
not it's not it's not something that I'm a, a big fan of. Then we have the bolt rail. So this is shooting kind of like we got electric fingers, right? We're shooting uh, lightning out, and it's okay. Again, not my favorite. It doesn't. It's not doing big damage. Um, I'm gonna put this in C as well. I think I like it more than the perforating jet. But it's it's definitely not. It's not something that I uh, that I love having in my build. Now, stone shot. This is interesting because I think I prefer stone shot over earth knuckles. I love the range on it. It does have, you know, it has knockback. And I think that's, it's very similar to fireball, right? But the problem is that fireball just sucks. This has knockback. It fires nice and fast. It hits, it hits hard enough. Is it an A tier? I don't know. Is it better than earth knuckles? I think so. I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it ahead of Earth Knuckles. So there's, there's my list um, for, for basic Arcanas. And I, I'm, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, now we're going on to signatures. So the signatures, like I said, I will kind of base it on what I like. And then the charge, uh, charged up to, because I think that's important for these ones. Ice Blast. So that's the one that we had in the demo for the game when the demo first came out and it freezes everything. I really like it. I'm a fan of Ice Blast. Um, I like the control, right? And the, the area that it, that it affects. Even, even when it's not charged up, freezing enemies, right? You're controlling them. I really dig it. I think that's an A tier one for me. And then we have Zephyr Whirl. Now, for me, this is one that I hated. I, I really didn't like Zephyr Whirl at all when, when I first used it. But I didn't really, I don't think I grasped exactly what I was supposed to be doing with it. Now, it has become one of my favorites um, in the whole game. Uh, for just for crowd control, right? Pulling large amounts of enemies in and then hitting them with something else. Now it does lack in the damage, right? It, it does. It doesn't do the damage. That's not what it's there for. It's there for the control. So because it lacks in damage, I don't think it's an S tier, but I do think it's an A tier. I for me, I, I like it. I'm actually going to move it up here. I, I really do like it. It's close to an S tier. It just doesn't do. You know, it doesn't do quite as much damage. I'm going to move it right up. I'm happy with that. Some of these signatures, they are going to see there's a lot of signatures that I really like, and then there's some signatures that I really hate. Um, flame Breath, after my most recent video, I really warmed up to Flame Breath. I think it's, I think it's a really good one. Um, you know, it, it's got decent range. It can, it can really hit a lot of times, and it, it can hit multiple enemies, and it can hit many times. Um... I think it's it's somewhere between a high B and a low A for me. Um, I'm gonna say it does have the damage though, right? I'm gonna say it's a I'm gonna say it's an A. Maybe it's better than this actually. I'm gonna say it's here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with that. I'm sure there's going to be people that don't agree with me on Zephyr Whirl. <laughs> I'm sure of that, but I really, really like it. Um, what are you called? The Impaling Drill, I believe. Now, this one, yeah, you shoot it uh, when it's not charged, you shoot at a single drill. It can hit an enemy, and it kind of just keeps on bumping into them. It's not very impressive. Charged up, it shoots at five, I believe. Um, you know, it'll hit, an it'll hit multiple enemies then and bump them, but you can completely miss with those drills right um it's not and, and i don't feel like the damage is that impressive i guess it could do slam if you're close to a wall it's it's really not good for me um is it an f tier i don't know if it is but it's definitely it's definitely a c we're gonna put it down there i don't like it not a fan stone strike kick it does big damage it can do big damage um, it's not my favorite one, right? I, I do like that it has, like, the good knockback and everything. 
charged up one plus is that you while you're charged you can actually kind of you can turn with this one while it's going off which i do like um i'm gonna say that it's uh it's a b as well Although the, the the earth ones are all kind of falling into this uh to this range here. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it in here. I do I do kind of like it. It's not it's not garbage. And then we have the Mistral Arrow. Comes with a few charges. I know that. It comes with a few charges. Piercing arrow. Charged up, it shoots out, I think, a couple waves of arrows. Um for me. Having used it a couple times and trying to get the hang of it and get a feel for it, I tried to like it. It's not good. I don't like it. Um, maybe with a certain modification, maybe it can be good. But it's just it just doesn't do it for me. It's an F tier. It's F tier, and it's uh, it's down here with Fireball. It's uh, yeah, it's just not good. It's it's not it's not nice for me. I want to hit. I want to I want to make contact when I fire off my my stuff right and it just doesn't do it for me um now we have dragon circuit i've done this on multiple videos right um you fire some dragons off they go they'll hit the enemies they go up in the sky they come down you don't have to aim it which is awesome charged up it just does you know it hits everything it can even i think it even hits enemies off screen um it's it's an s tier for me it's 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 an awesome you can tell I, I I don't put many things up in S tier. Um, you know we're we're about halfway through here, and I've got two things in S tier, but it's so good uh, as far as a signature goes. It it just can carry you through a whole run. Uh, Frost scimitar. Uh, so you throw out a blade. I think it pulls the enemy towards you. It spins, pulls the enemy towards you. Uh, charges up, throws out about five of them. I think. Not crazy about this one. It's very similar to this for me. Uh, other than this one pushes away and this one pulls forward. It's actually, for me, this one's worse. I'm going to put it here, but it it could be in an F tier. It really could be F tier. It's I, For me, it's not great at all. Um, Inferno Barrage. Now, this one... The problem I have with this one is that you can't turn while you're firing it. I think it could be good, but I feel like like with Stone Strike Kick you can turn, right? While you're while you're going. So if you say you kill the enemy that's right in front of you and then you still have another strike left in it, you can kind of hit to the left. Leave this one you're locked in place while you're firing off. And that doesn't feel great to me, right? So it's oh man is it is it an f tier for me it's pretty bad for me um i'm really not a fan of it i'm gonna say it's f tier i i think it's better than the bow i put it here better than the arrow but it's i don't like it volt surge is really nice right you can shock the enemies and you can shock multiple enemies with it i'm a, I, I, it's it's pretty nice it's probably up here in the b tier uh, I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it kind of right beside, beside you. I think that's fair. Beside the stone strike. Yeah, I don't mind that. And then when you charge it up, it fires off a lot of bolts, right? Um, now, now we're into the standards. So these aren't gonna be modified. Some of them have really awesome modifications, but we're not messing around with that. It's too much to consider in a video like this, where I'm just yapping. So, we have the Aqua Bubble. Throw a little ball of water, and it rolls through the enemies, right? Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan. Um, I've used this a handful of times, and I just don't like it. It's, uh, it's not good to me. So, because enemies move and stuff, you know? <laughs> it's just like you fire the bubble off, the enemy walks away. Um, maybe they get a couple droplets on them. It's an F tier. Uh, it's, it's F tier for me. It's maybe, no, we'll throw it in here. I think it doesn't matter. It's in here, in there. That's where you go. Uh, now we have the Blazing Whip. Comes with a couple charges. I'm a fan of the whip. 
Big fan of the whip. I think it's an A tier for me. I just like that you can fire it off quickly, right? And smack the enemies that are, like, you can make sure that you're going to hit what you're looking at. Um, we'll throw it in here. Yeah, we'll throw it in there. Then we have... This is Blizzard. Um, so this is like you, you have a little area on the map, right? It'll be a little area on the map that freezes. Not crazy about it. Again, enemies move in this game, right? Um, in the smaller area that's locked in, it could be really good. But in a boss fight, I feel like this thing's useless in a boss fight. That's, that's just for me. I feel like it's completely useless in a boss fight. Unless, the, unless you got the boss completely stunned. It's pretty, it's not, it's not very good. Um, bubble might actually be better. I'm putting this down here. I'm I'm putting it in the F tier. It's not great for me. Not a fan. Again, we're holding it up against some really good ones here, right? Like uh, some really good Arcana. Uh, we have the Breakers of Tiamat, the Water Dragons. Right, fire off a a. Uh, it covers a large area, and it can hit multiple times. I'm a fan of it. Um. I think this is I think this is an a, a high A or a low S here uh Arcana. I'm gonna say that it's I'm gonna put it at the highest of A's. It could you could put it in I could have put it up here. Now we've got the dragon arc where we fire off uh you kinda like have a I don't know if it's ten or twelve uh that you can fire. It's okay. Right? Uh, as far as the dragons go, it's it's not my favorite. I'm going to say it's a B. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a B. Most of the dragon arcana are really nice, right? They're they're all pretty decent. Um def dragon defense. So you got the air dragons, right? So they block projectiles. You can fire them off. If you got them spinning around you, they can hit the enemies, right? If you're up close. Um, forget even having the ultimate on there. They're great. If you saw my air, air wizard run that I did, the ultimate on it's insane. But we're not even talking about that. These things are an S tier. Are you know what? They could you could put them up here. You could. They they are they are that good. Um, doesn't really matter. It's S tier. Uh, those are those are amazing arcana for me. Then we have a dragon dive, so the rock dragon. This one is really good. I like it. You know, I, I do like that you can fire it just like it just drills the enemies and knocks them far away. Um is it as good as is it an A tier one? I don't know. Again, it's it's probably in here. I think it's I I I would I would rank it close to the the dragon arc, the fire dragons. I'm gonna say B. Yeah, I think that's fair for it. A lot of a lot of rock, but that's not bad. We don't have anything really terrible down in here, right? And then we have the Fisher Slam, where we have the two, the two uh, big thing walls of stone come out and they pull everything in, slam them together. I like that. Um, I like it a lot actually because you're doing the damage. And you're also getting some area control out of it, right? Like you're you're controlling enemies, you're putting them where you want, so you're lining up more potential synergies. So for me, that is that's an A tier one, I think. A low A, a low A. I it would be high B, low A, but I think that's A tier for me. I'm a fan of that because it does it lines up so many other things for you. This one's probably going to be. Uh, you could say argumentative for people. <laughs> uh, I've seen people say this one's great. I suck with it. So I've used it a bunch of times and I'm trying to get good with this thing. And I feel like it should work. It should be like dragon defense, but I I'm terrible with, uh, with this one. And so this is the orbital asteroids and you can throw the, the asteroids you can hit the enemies with it while you're uh, while they're spinning. I'm just not great with it. For me, it's um, it's a, it's it's not an F tier, but it's it's we're gonna we're gonna put it down here in the C's because it's um, 
I'm sure I'm, I'm, maybe you can make it work. I just, I'm just bad with it. Then we have the seismic quake where you jump in the air and you slam down into the ground. I'm a fan of this one. It's quick, right? Like, um, it doesn't, ha it doesn't hit a large area. I'm a fan, but am I that big of a fan? Like, I don't know if it belongs in B. Maybe a high C. It's, it's, it's okay, right? You can make it work. Flame Ward is one that I feel like should be good. So it's, it casts an area, right? And you get this, like, totem pops up and it fires. And it can do large damage. But right now, I keep on encountering what feels like bugs. So I can't really say fully how I feel. Like, because it... Um, it feels like sometimes I, it spawns, like I, I summon it, and it just disappears instantly. And I'm unsure if that's damage that it can take. I don't feel like it can be damaged. But unfortunately, because of that, not, not really knowing, it feels so inconsistent. I'm going to have to put it, uh, oh man, I don't want to put it in F because I, I've seen it work, and it can do really well, but I'm going to put it low C because it's just it's so inconsistent right now. It needs, it needs some work. But it, yeah, it, this could easily become an S-tier thing. If they rework this and get it working the way that I think it's intended to, it could become an S-tier. Flying kicks, so you kind of fly towards the enemies and you give them a, a few good kicks. Uh, it's not bad. It's not great either, though. I'm going to rank it right around this one. I think it's similar to that, right? I think it's in this in this range. Nothing crazy. It's just okay. This is one of the coolest ones in the game. Fueled Berserk, right? It's very build specific, though, right? Um, like, are you going to go in and are you going to use your basic? Because that's what it does, right? It charges up your basic, so you can use your basic a ton. If you haven't used it, you should try it, right? Try it with the with the with the crossblade or something like that, or any of these, like this one or this one. You could you could do some ma massive damage with it. Um, I think it's, it is pretty specific, but it can, it's, it's, it can be crazy too. I'm going to put it here. It, it can just go, it can go off. Gust volley. Um, up close, right? So you, like, this is how I like to use this one because you fire off a bunch of arrows and you're, you know, it can do massive damage up close. I think... I think this is an S tier for me. For me personally, I've seen it where if you get the damage high enough and you stand up close to an enemy, it just deletes enemies. And it can chunk down bosses too. So for me, that's an S tier. It's, it's really nice. Uh, Heavenly Strikes, what this one's called, right? So you channel lightning. Not a fan. Not a fan of this one. I haven't used it a ton because I just wasn't a fan. Um... I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it there. I'm not. I'm not crazy about it at all. Ice spear. And one of the reasons this is here is because ice spear. <laughs> ice spear. You throw a spear, and you hope that it hits an enemy. And maybe it can hit. If it, I think it hits the wall. If it hits a wall, I've seen it kind of freeze enemies around. But it's it's not great. Um, not a fan at all. I'm putting it down here in the F tier. It reminds me of the the Mistral bow or arrow, right? It just kind of it just doesn't do it for me. It's not it's not impactful enough. Um now we have the Inferno beam. So you channel a beam of fire. It's another one. I feel like you the channeling for me is just not something I'm a fan of. I, you know, uh you leave yourself too vulnerable. And it's going here. Yeah, it's going there. When you have other things that add mobility, like this one, it's really hard for me to justify using a channeling one, just for me. Um, so we have the Shock Assault, where you can bounce around on multiple enemies. This one's really good. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, just, it's just a really, really good uh, Arcana, and I'm putting it up here in the A's. High A. I think it's good. Lightning Spear, 
I believe you get a couple charges on this one. Be wrong, but I think you do. And you throw it, and uh, if you hit an enemy, they'll hit the ground. Shocks the enemies around. It's really good for uh, controlling an area. Not crazy damage, but it can it can really set up some other things similar to this one where I like that, right? But I think that I think I like this one more than that one. I'm gonna put it here. I do think it's an A. Galvanizing Discharge is one that I wish was more awesome. Probably some of the ultimates on it are, are great, but you just pound, pound a small area on the ground. So it can work against, uh, you know, there's no range on it at all. I'm going to say it's a B. I'm going to say it's a B. I don't like it as much as the dragon. Could be a C, too. It's really not that great. You know what? Actually, I'm going to move it back a bit. Not crazy about it. Submerged Strike. Is an interesting one because you go under under the ground and you bump enemies, right? And, <laughs> and and then when you come up, you do a big splash. Um, I I am a fan of this one. I'm, I think I've said that about ones that I even said I didn't like. Um, <laughs> but I do like this one. I like it because it's defensive too. Uh, I've I've used it in boss fights to avoid the beam, like in the second boss. You can just jump under the underground and, and they can't hit you. It's a little inconsistent on the damage, though. And I think that's why I'm not going to put it in A, is because it's just inconsistent damage that way. But I think, it's, I think we're going to put it here in the, in the high-ish Bs. Then we have the Spark Array. You throw out a bunch of orbs that will uh, shock enemies. I think this one's really nice. Yeah, I've used this one a bunch. I'm a fan of it. Said it again. I'm a fan. I am a fan. I like this one. And it's going to be an A tier one. Um, I'm just looking at what the other ones that I've got in here. I think I like it about Blazing Whip range in that area. We have the Terra Ring. This is another one that I've seen people say they love. I suck with it again. I, I've tried and tried and tried. Probably Earth... Earth is probably the, if you look at this, when it's all finished, I think it's going to be pretty clear that Earth is maybe the one that I struggle with the most. Earth and fire, and that makes sense to me. Maybe water too. <laughs> no, because you can get away with, the, this one can kind of, this one slaps. So, but yeah, Earth is really tricky for me because it, for me, there's nothing that's really, really, really that stands out. Um, I'm going to put it... I don't think it's awful, awful. But for me, I prefer this one over that, so I'm going to put it here. It's a C tier for me. I just, I just can't ever get it working for me. And then we have the tornadoes. So we have the tearing whirlwind. This is where I turn into a, a tornado and spin around. And I don't mind it. It doesn't do crazy damage, but it can pull all the enemies in, right? Um... I'm going to do, I'm going to say that it's, I'm going to say that it's in there in, in the B's. It's a B for me. I'm going to put it, you know, I'm going to put it at high B. Because then we have the wild tornado where you summon one. You summon a tornado that pulls all the enemies in. It's a, it can be, it, it could be inconsistent, but I haven't really experienced that. It's been pretty good for me uh, as far as wiping out entire, entire groups of enemies. And I'm going to put it, uh, you know, I'm going to, I like it a little bit more than that. I think it is an A tier. I kind of like it in here. I think that's what, uh, I think that's where I like that one. Of course, I didn't plan any of this out ahead of time. I didn't really think things through a ton. But I like how this looks. I, I, I think, you know, you can, of course, you can make some arguments, things sliding up and down a little bit. And everybody's going to have their own opinions. I think this one's going to be the big one. I think some people are going to say that this is an S tier, I feel like, but I, I just suck with it. So, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more Wizard of Legend and other awesome games like it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.